is Morag and I want to tell you a story. And this story is all about a witch. Now, in our story, I wonder what does a witch wear to make her look a little bit more like a witch? What do you think she wears? Maybe something on her head. A pointy witch's hat. Oh, there we go. Just like that. So I've got my hat. I'm starting to feel a little bit more witchy now. Um, I wonder what else our witch might have. She needs a magic wand to help her do all of her spells. And a magic cauldron to mix all of her potions up. There we go. Now, what do you think our witch travels around on? Hmm. Does she travel on a bike? Or in a car? No. What does she travel on? She travels on a broomstick. There we go. So we've got our witch's broomstick as well. And our witch doesn't travel on her own. She's got a friend that goes with her. Hmm. And it's an animal. What animal do you think is the witch's friend? A cat. Meow. A pussy cat. So we've got our witch's hat, our witch's wand and cauldron, our witch's broom and the witch's friend, the cat. And I've actually got a bit of a song all about those witchy things. And it goes like this. The witch on the broom goes zoom, 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 zoom. The witch on the broom goes zoom, 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 all day long. The witch is wand goes swish and flick, swish and flick, swish and flick. The witch is wand goes swish and flick, all day long. The witch's cauldron goes bubble, 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 bubble. The witch's cauldron goes bubble, 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 all day long. The witch's cat goes meow, 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 meow. The witch's cat goes meow, 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 all day long. Ah, oh, fantastic singing, everybody. Maybe you can have a think about what else our witch might have that you could put into a song. That would be fun. Okay, so we've got our witch with her cat and she's flying around on her broomstick. But it starts to get a bit cold and she realises she needs somewhere to stay. And she needs somewhere to sleep. So she has a look around and thinks, oh, I can't find anywhere. Where could I go to sleep? And then she meets someone. She meets a bat. Here we go, are you ready? A bat. And she says, hello bat. Where? sleep and the bat says I sleep in the bell tower of the church and I hang upside down by my feet and the witch says wow that sounds like a lovely place to sleep for a bat but I don't think I would like the noise of the bells. They would keep me awake. And I don't think my feet are strong enough to hold me upside down. Oh dear. So she said bye to the bat. Bye bat. And she went on her way. Then she met someone else. Who did she meet next? She met a frog 
ribbit, ribbit. And she said, hello frog, where do you sleep? And the frog said, I live by the pond and I sleep on a lily pad. And the witch said, wow, that sounds like a lovely place to sleep for a frog. But I'd be a bit scared that my lily pad would sink and I would get all wet. Oh dear. So she said bye to frog and went on her way. Hmm. I wonder who she's going to meet next. Next she met a spider. Here we go. A little spider. And she said, hello spider, where do you sleep? And the spider said, I made my own house. I sleep in a spider's web. Wow, said the witch, what a beautiful place to sleep. Maybe I could make my own house for me to sleep in. So she said bye to the spider, bye spider. And she went on her way. And she had a bit of a think about how she could make her own house. Hmm. And she looked in her cauldron and there was some magic paper. She thought, oh, I could make a house out of my magic paper. So she got her magic scissors and started to think about what shape she'd like her house to be. First of all, she folded her magic paper in half. And she thought, okay, what shape would I like my roof to be? I know a nice round shape, like my cauldron. So she got her magic scissors and she started snipping away to make a nice round roof. Oh, I like this already, said the witch. And just before she got to the end, she went, oh, I'm going to need somewhere to keep my broom. So she made a little broom store, or a bit like a garage, but for her broom. Just like that. There we go. A nice round roof and a little store for her broom. Hmm. What do I need next? Hmm. I need a door, says the witch, so I can get in. And I always wear my pointy hat. So I think I need a pointy door. So she started snipping away and made a pointy door. Oh, nearly there. Ah, there we go. Now I've got a pointy door for my house so I can go in wearing my pointy hat. Then she looked down and saw her cat and thought, oh, I better make a little door for my cat. And I'm going to make a little pointy door for my cat as well. There we go, now I've got my own pointy door and a pointy door for my cat. And they went inside, but it was a little bit dark. Hmm. What can I put in my house so it's not as dark? I know I need a window. And I think I'd like a pointy window, said the witch, to match my pointy 
So. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a bit trickier, this bit. So, she cut out a pointy window. Nearly there. Oh dear, I think the witch was probably a bit better at cutting out than I am. <gasps> there we go. So now she's got her round roof and her little broom store, her pointy door, a little pointy door for her cat and a beautiful pointy window. Oh, that looks beautiful, said the witch. And she went inside with her cat. But when they got inside, it was a little bit dusty. So she got out her broom and started to give it a bit of a sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. But as she was doing that, the dust started tickling her nose. Oh, oh, oh. and she thought, I'm going to sneeze. Now you might not know this, but a witch's sneeze is magic. And you never know what might happen. <gasps> Achoo! And her house turned into a pumpkin. Oh my goodness me. The end. Thank you so much for listening to my story. So for our craft today, we are going to make ourselves a little pumpkin, just like the pumpkin house in our story. To make our pumpkin, we're going to need a sheet of orange paper and a sheet of green paper, or you could get some plain paper, white paper and colour it or paint it the right colours, but I'm going to be using coloured paper today. We need a pair of scissors. Uh, now. Do be careful with the scissors and if you need help, please find a grown-up who can help you as well. We need some glue, a hole puncher and a pencil. And that is all we need. So first of all, what you want to do is get your orange piece of paper and we're going to cut it into strips. And we want to get 12 equal strips. Um, so the easiest way to do this is we're going to fold our paper in half and then we're going to fold it in half again and then we're going to make two cuts up our paper. Now they don't need to be perfect but try and get them as straight as we can. We're going to cut all the way up here and then we're going to cut up here and then just make sure some of these you're going to have to cut in half along the fold as well. So we've got 12 strips just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to take four of those strips, so these ones we're just going to put to the side for the moment. We're going to get two of our strips and we're going to glue them together to make an extra long strip. Just like that, there we go an extra long strip and we're going to do exactly the same with another two. There we go. Now we've got two extra long strips and we're going to make a cross with them. So a little bit of glue in the middle and there we go. We've got a cross with our two extra long pieces. Now we need all of our other strips and we're going to put them around our cross, a bit like a clock. So our first one is going to go at one o'clock, the next one at two o'clock and we're just going to work all the way round until we have got all of our strips on in all of those different places. And it should look something like this. Now you might want to, if you've got another scrap of paper, just to put it in the middle to try and make sure that they're all going to stay 
where they're meant to stay. Just like that. Next, we're going to get our hole punch and we're going to make a hole in the end of each of our strips. Just like this. Now it doesn't matter if they're not completely central but try and get them kind of as neat as you can going round. Mine on. We're going to do that all the way around. So as you can see we've now got our holes in all of our strips around our kind of orange star clock thing. Next we need um, just a little bit of green paper. Uh, it's not actually a very neat rectangle but something a bit like that and this is going to roll into a stalk so we need to make sure that one end is quite tight because that's going to be going through our holes but the other end can be a little bit wider like this and then we're just going to put a little bit of glue on that end bit there to secure it down and we should have a little stalk we might need to squidge that edge as we're going through but you can make that work for you so we're going to use this stalk to create our pumpkin shape and this is bit is a little bit fiddly but it's not too bad so we're going to start with this bottom one and i'm going to start by putting a little bit of glue on this end and that's going to stick to the next piece we're then going to pick this bit up and we're going to fold it and stick our stalk through the hole and it's going to be very sticky underneath so you might get some mucky fingers but that's okay that's what we like doing when we're doing crafts we're then going to take our next piece put a bit of glue on it fold it up and we're going to put that underneath that first bit putting the stalk through and then the glue from the first piece will stick to the second piece and we're going to do that all the way around. So remember, glue, fold, underneath, and press together. And it'll start to look like this. And we do that all the way around until we get to the last one. As you can see, I've done that all the way around and I've just got my last one. But I don't need to put any glue on this because there's glue on the bottom one. So we're going to bend that over and stick it on there it's a little bit fiddly but i'm sure you'll be okay and then what we're going to do is just i don't know if you can see this that stalk that's sticking out we're just going to fold it over so it doesn't go back through the holes like that and there we've got our pumpkin shape now we might want to add a few more bits to it so I'm going to get some thin bits of green paper. Uh, you could use pipe cleaners if you've got them, but I'm going to use paper and I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to just wrap the green strip around the pencil all the way to the end. Round and round and round. Oh. I'm going to slide it off and then we've got a curly tendril and do that to the other two as well just like that and then we're going to just glue those on to the top by our stalk you might need to put your hand inside the pumpkin just to give it push it in a little bit oh make sure your finger doesn't get stuck put one over here Our last one. Ooh. Over here. And there we have our pumpkin. Just like the pumpkin house in our witch's story. <laughs> 